Fleeing from invaders that are taking over the realm, you and a loyal group of guards make their way along a river on a raft. Fight enemies, improve your equipment, and explore mysteries along the way. Hello all, this is Marco from Random Door Media, and in this video we're going to take a look at the demo for Dreadful River, a different take on the survival game genre. Instead of exploring an open world, you control a small group fleeing a kingdom that is under attack. The demo is free to play on the Steam Store, and if you're interested in the full game, it is only around $17.59 Canadian, or about $13 US funds, or 12 euros. So right now, let's take a look at Dreadful River. Here we are in the Dreadful River Early Access Demo. This is just the demo of an Early Access game. Over on the right it says, We are early. This is the Early Access version of Dreadful River. This version of the game will give you a first playable impression of the gameplay and game feel, and will grow over time as new features and experiences are added. Over on the left, you can take a look at what was new in the latest version, watch the roadmap, or check out the contributors. So we are going to take a look at a new game and see what it's like right from the beginning. While vicious invaders are attacking the realm, the king has embarked on a quest with his most precious possession and the only hope for victory, the Eternal Crown. Uncover the truth behind the legend surrounding the Eternal Crown and save the kingdom from its downfall. Start your journey! Generate that kingdom! The game world does appear to be randomly generated for increased replayability. Here we are, a small group of soldiers on a raft about to embark on our perilous journey. Steerman, and here we are. What's the situation, Krev? <laughs> I'll say Krev's over here on the dock. Our king is ill, and the realm is troubled. You must take the journey along the river. Take this crown and restore its powers. A rusty circlet, and why me? What do you want me to do, and where am I to go? Wow. You'll receive a message at the village of Colrin. There is no time for more explanations. <laughs> I'll cast a spell that will allow you to pass by the camp of the Royal Guard. It's better if they don't know about your departure. Do you think there are traitors among them? <laughs> exactly. That's why I've chosen some of your fellow students to accompany you instead. It sounds like there's a bit more lore to this game than we're not being given right at the start. Maybe that will be announced as the game goes, uh, as the game gets developed further, or perhaps as you progress, you'll unlock more lore. You'll be invisible for half a mile, and then I didn't read the rest. Okay, so here's a radial... So we can go landing, manage, fishing, anchor, sail, potions, and targeting. I don't think we need to do any of that right now. So we do have an objective, though. Pass the Camp of the Royal Guard and reach the village of Colran. So let's do that. Uh, so what do we got for keyboard options? R brought up the radial. Uh, no. okay, over on the left, it, it's telling us, yeah, R is the raft menu. S, W, A, D to maneuver the raft. L to use to anchor and E to interact. Anything else? I brings up inventory. We have a few basic things. Okay, J is the journal. X looks like it brings up the crew. Um, that's a fighter looking person. That's a steerman. Archer, archer, archer. Okay. We can close that. C is. Crafting? So let's take a look. If we left click on that. Oh, crafting. Let's make some poison arrows. Okay. Make one fried fish. M is map, so we are at Nohamina. And looks like the area is covered in clouds. How big is the map? Uh Wow. Is that is that the direction we're going in or That's south, there's no river. Hmm. <laughs> this is this is a really huge map if it's really this big. <laughs> So we're over, we're way down here, and this map just wow. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the river that we're going to be following throughout the game, 
and wow, it just goes on. Yeah, then there's two rivers. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Because this isn't going to be a full playthrough, of course. Pulled the anchor. This is just taking a look at the game to see what it has available. This is just a demo, just to give people an idea of what the game is like, so if somebody wants to check out the demo themselves or even purchase the full game. For now, we're just going to travel down the river. Now, we are supposed to be able to get off on the, on the shore. So maybe we can do that to find something to harvest or salvage. I don't see anything that stands out, but let's take a look anyways. There. Our group is on the land. Looks like we control one person. Everybody follows us. Yes. It's a third person view game. Oh, character does jump. Oh, there's jumping in it. And sprinting. Okay, it's got some... The character's got some moves. There we go. Okay, so we can salvage a wood and a plant. And uh, that. And a uh, wood. It looks like we can run around and salvage or harvest materials. Let's see what this stuff is. It looks like mushrooms. So we've already discovered the crafting. Or what's the crafting? I thought I had a quick key for the crafting. Bring this back up. Okay, is, is this cra any of this crafting? This is inventory. Oh, maybe you can only craft on the raft. I'm going to assume that's correct. For, so for now, let's just run around getting materials. We won't spend too much time getting materials because this is just supposed to be showing what the... This video is just showing what the game is capable of and what you can expect in the game. So we'll just run around getting a few basic things and then we'll head back to the raft. Oh, yeah, raft's way over there. Let's go. <laughs> We're supposed to be traveling by uh, by river. I don't know how much of this game it, you could... Whoa, 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 whoa. And apparently that's a very fast-flowing current. There, back on the river. Yeah, that's a pretty fast-flowing current. Hey, it looks like there's an outpost of some kind up ahead. Now, the guy back in the beginning did say that we had an invisibility spell to help us bypass the royal guards. I wonder if that's them in the tower. So let's just see if we can sneak by them uh, without anything happening. Maybe once we get past this area, then I'll uh, head back to shore and see if we can gather materials again. Oh, well, looks like there's another structure up ahead. Could that be the town we're heading for? Doesn't look like there's anybody there. Like, just like an empty guard post. There we go. Past the camp of the Royal Guard. Okay, good. So let's go over here. And we'll land ashore here because I do see materials here. There's a bunch of things. There's purple things and yellow things and pink things. And the blue things. All the things are over here. I wonder how far you can travel uh, across the land. Because the whole deal of the game is you're supposed to be traveling across the river. That's why it's called Dreadful River. And that's what's supposed to make the game stand out from other games. So that the unique aspect of this game is instead of controlling a single person in first person view... You're controlling a group of soldiers that are traveling by the river. So far, it does have elements of a survival game, though. Gathering resources and exploration. Okay, looks good. So I wonder if that's the town of Colran up ahead. I 
guess we'll find out. There is a dock right there. Can can we go right up to the dock? Uh, is the dock something special, or do you still have to get off the normal way? Make our way to the dock. No, no, go. A little tricky controlling the... Uh, oh, uh, there. It's a little tricky controlling because you're not in absolute control of the raft. It handles like tank controls, but of course you're subject to the uh, to the currents. Hey, I don't think this would be the town. This is like too small for a town. Anything here? I'm gonna jump to get there. There's a door. Nope. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> see the character up close. Let's take a look there. Arr, arr, I'm a guard. I'm a guard. <laughs> Guard, Charlie, guard. Guards. Hmm. Yeah, this does not appear to be a town. Are those beehives over there? Can I... Oh, yep. We can swim. Okay, so we can go across that way. Is this lootable? No. No. Not harvestable. Just plants. So I'm not going to go overboard and getting too much... Too much material until I actually find out what to do with them. So when I get back to the raft, I'll see if I can bring up that crafting menu again. I'll just grab this and then we'll head back. Oh! Wait, was that... Oh, those are my guys! Hey, so my guys are stuck in the water. I guess you gotta be careful where you go. Because there are some places where your guys can't get to, maybe? Maybe only your character can swim? Question mark? Oh, it's dark. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... Okay, anchor, anchor, anchor. Drop the anchor just so I can take a look. Okay, that was C. Okay, yeah, so C does bring up the crafting menu, but I guess it's only available when you're on the raft. So we can make some more healing potions. Experience tells me that healing potions are good. So let's do that. Uh, what about fish? Do we need fish? Oh! Oh, okay, so I guess I have to select. Okay, never mind then. Um, it's attacking, okay. Potion. Okay, we don't need potion right now. Landing. Okay, that, or already know the quick key for that. Manage. Manage. That's crafting. The quick key is X for crew, C for crafting. I for inventory, missions... Okay, that's J for journal. Let's let up the anchor? Because I thought... Oh, I thought I saw some fish over there. Now that we've gone a bit further, what does the map show? Okay, yeah, the map does reveal. We're head... Oh! I wanted that one anywhere. There's like a bit of a dead end there. Dead end river. Well, let's just keep following the main river and see where that brings us. Oh, hold it. Um, anchor. Is it too late to get that fish? Yeah, I'm going to say that is. Uh, stop the fishing. <laughs> let's keep going. Oh, I dropped the anchor. Put the anchor back up. Anything around here of interest? Yeah, there's more plants. So I'm not going to bother harvesting more until we, like, got a better idea of what to do with it. Crafting didn't have that much. It had, like, poison arrows and healing potions. This isn't going to be a full playthrough. This is just going to show off the demo, so I'll probably play until we get to the first objective, uh, or the next objective, which is the village of uh, Colren. Ooh, it looks like we have a boat up ahead. Do we assume that those are enemies? Let's find out. Oh, hold, hold it. Before we find out, I just want to make sure that everybody's quest started trades of the river. Okay, hold on. Okay, game. Hold up. <laughs> Prepare for battle. Okay, hold it. How do we make sure we get... How do we get the poison arrows? Hmm. Have to do it from inventory. Two hours later. Oh, there we go. Okay, so E. E selects it and then you use 
up and down keys. Okay, so it looks like all the archers are all now equipped with poison arrows. Good, good, good. Okay, let's bring up the anchor. We'll continue continue the way and see if this boat up ahead is hostile. Wow, is that where we came from? Are you over there? Yep, looks like it is. Oh, there's enemies on the shore. Take the guy with the least hit points, and it looks like they do, they do fire on their own. I can't even select enemies. The closest I can do is when I press space, it brings up like this targeting cone. Oh, those guys are sleeping. Can we sneak attack on them? But your guys do just sort of fire on their own. You have control over the raft movement, basically. And one of my guys is supposed to be like a mage of some kind. We got loot. Is that loot? We got a fish. Looks like a rope and a plant. Those ends mark fools. So trades of the river. Is that anything? Or is that just like environmental sparkles? <laughs> wow, looks kind of neat. Looks like these cliffs on each side. Everybody's doing good. Nobody's particularly damaged. Let's continue our way. Uh, nice, peaceful, leisurely ride down the river. Everybody's going to sleep. Take a look at the map again. Oh yeah, there we go. If we bring up R... There's a radial over on the right, which shows, I imagine, the season. So we're probably in spring right now. And no, doesn't look like there's anything to pick up over on the side. But I don't know if things maybe show up better once you get to the land. We only have one steerman. Does this guy not get any sleep? He's the only one who, like, who, like stays awake the whole time. Wait, what's that over on the right? Is that like a ramp going up into the hills? And there appears to be like some kind of structure, so let's mosey our way that way. Yeah, there's like pillars of brick or something like that. Oh, whoa, this way, this way. There's some glowy stuff, which could just be mushrooms, but let's take a look. Okay, so now we're on the shore. These ruins? Oh, oh, there's something to pick up there. Wow, we got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I didn't even see anything. I just, I just saw the hand icon. Okay, so what does that mean? So that's a spearman. Did we get like a better? Maybe you can only re-equip when you're on the raft. I'll head back on the raft. Anchor. I still want to go back there. Take a look again. Maybe we just don't have anything. Let's take a look at our inventory. So I got an, I got an epic sword and a greater long sword. And over here is an enforced. Pro this stuff sounds good. How do you equip it? It's an epic sword. Oh right over there. Wait, it's. It's worse than what he has? No, it's better. Okay, so if I take this and give it to that guy. There. Yeah, there. Okay, so that was his old sword. Now he's got the epic sword. How about this? And force crossbow. And it's not giving me anybody to... Oh wait, archers? The archer can't use a crossbow? 
when you mouse over the arrows, it shows you your archers. And and you can equip them. But the crossbow doesn't. Over this thing. Nothing there. Armor, nothing. Okay. My melee guy got a better sword. An epic sword, even. <laughs> Is this a thing? Like, the game's description does say you're supposed to find mysteries as you go along. Oh, this is just a dead end. I thought it, it looked like it went somewhere. <laughs> okay. We'll head back down and continue the trek. Use the campfire, go back onto the raft. Raise the anchor. And turn this boat around. Uh, back up. Uh, I don't want to go backwards all the way. <laughs> so I wonder if these pile of bricks have anything to loot as well. I'll take a look once we get near this little, like, rocky shore here. We go here. Is there anything here? No. It looked like just that previous place had something. Okay. It is a little dark. There's more ruins over there too. Maybe we'll check those out. I wonder if you have the ability to if you get the ability to craft better armors or equipment, it wasn't available now. Like, this is all it has in the crafting. Maybe you have to unlock recipes, or maybe you have to come across, like, a blacksmith or something like that along the way. Anything lootable in here? No, it looks like just ruins. Maybe we just lucked out. Oh, wow, look at the epic sword. You can actually see it in his hand now. Now, that's an epic-looking sword. Yeah, it doesn't show it doesn't show on the map where the village is, so I don't know how much longer this is. Yeah, the game description says you're supposed to be able to get allies, so maybe you can pick up more crew as you go along. So far we haven't seen much. Is that something up ahead? Looks like there's something way, way up ahead. Well, let's just get there as fast as we can. We'll just make our way down the river and see what that is. Yeah, there's a something way, way off in the distance. I don't know how easy it is to see on the video, but way, way, way in the distance I see something that looks like a settlement. Of course, I'm not playing this game as efficiently as I could. Like, perhaps you could just be harvesting materials to sell at merchants or something like that. But I'm, uh, like I said, this isn't a full playthrough. This is just to give people an idea of what the game is like. So there is an outpost of some kind here, plus an enemy boat over there. Let's see if we can do the outpost without having to get into a fight. It is a mercenary campsite. Okay. We can go inside. There's a little, little person in there. And we bring this up. Crew 8. Okay, looks like we can have 11 maximum. I have no catapults. I have 346 money. And this is what I have. I got four, one spearman, one warlock. And this is what we can buy, I guess. Um, Let's buy another archer. There. Okay, so now we have another archer. Because so far, we've just been doing range attacks. Take a look at our equipment again. And do we have to equip that? Yes, uh, yes we do. We go down here and select, get that guy poison arrows as well. I'll take a quick look around here to see if there's anything worth picking up. I don't see anything like these bushes yeah these are just bushes nothing important here 
Yeah, it doesn't seem to be that that much material to harvest. Okay, let's not worry about that, and we'll go back to the raft and continue our trek. Remembering that there is a enemy boat up ahead. Two enemy boats now. Uh oh. Thought I heard like a dog barking. Three enemy boats and somebody on the shore. Uh, is this loot here? Can we pick this up? A little bear. Oh, yes, we can. Yeah, I now have an extra archer. So I got 20% more range firepower. Hold it. There was a fish there. I want to see if I can try fishing, but now it's. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay when using the anchor. How about now? Oh, you can't even choose the distance. That's interesting. Let's pull that up. So it looks like fishing is an option. I'm not going to get delve into it too much right now. Uh-oh. We have to fight like four enemy boats. Hopefully, we can single this boat out, boat out on its own. So I wonder if there's like, because it looks like these guys only have range. Uh, sorry, melee weapons. Like there's a guy with a spear and a guy with a sword. So I wonder if we have an advantage because I got so many archers. And once the last person is down, then you can loot their boat. Or we got uh, a bunch of things. Yeah, there's another boat there. Yeah, I still don't see any reason to go ashore just yet. Let's see if we can get this boat without attracting the attention of the others. Haven't seen much in the way of combat strategies. Some of my guys are taking damage, so can I bring up potions? Can we, what happens if we eat food? Oh, it looks like it does heal. It heals everybody, just one thing. Okay, that's good to know. I was kind of concerned that we might have to, like, micromanage. Imagine um, having to heal, like, one person at a time or something like that, but it looks like a healing thing heals up everybody. One person's really wounded, my archer at the front. I wonder if you can move them around. What happens if we eat something else? Uh, eat an apple. Oh, I'm still worried about that one guy. Okay, what the map show us? Oh, there's like a white flag coming up. I wonder if that's where the town's gonna be. It looks like some loot is uh, going down the river there. Okay, there's three boats up ahead. Can we... Oh, first of all, get some loot here, get this loot here. I'm really worried about that front guy. Is there a healing? Okay, a healing potion. Oh, ran aground, ran aground. They have archers too? Or maybe they just have range attacks even if it looks like they only have uh, melee weapons. Oh, I guess since I'm in control of the boat, I guess I can control where enemies attack. If I got wounded guys at the front, I can sort of swing the raft around so that um, the wounded guys are in a different area. Because that guy's, that one guy's almost down. We've been picking up a bunch of stuff. What have we been getting? Cloth, coins, stink foil, there's chest keys, okay. There's a staff, there's a wand, armor. Yeah, let's take a look at the crafting again. The same thing, I just wooden arrows, poison arrows. You know what? I'm going to make a couple of these. 
And I'll have some archers use the fire arrows. See if that helps. They're saying the fire arrows are better than the poison arrows. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so let's give that to you and you and you. So we'll have three archers with fire arrows and two with poison arrows. Hey, it looks like there's another settlement over there. Let the anchor, we'll head over this way. And see what this one is all about. A magician dealer, okay. What does the magician dealer have? Whoa! Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff so we can sell. Does indicate sell. Now you can get a look at what you have. So you got coal and pork. There's a staff. Greater mana potion crafting. So I wonder what that means. If it's a bottle, that means that's the actual item. But if it's on a piece of paper, that's a recipe. Get a robust cape. That's 100. I only got 222. I might as well test that. Let's just get a... Buy the small mana potion. And we'll see if that's like a recipe. Wait. I already have that, it says. Hold on. Hey, where did that... No, no, no. Okay, let's try that again. Nothing next to the staff. So I'm going to buy that. And it sa oh, it says 2 plus 1. Okay, let's, let's just get that and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I go to inventory. Uh, I don't see anything there. What about... Well, craft, you have to wait to go back. There's a small mana potion that we have. Let's head back and... Head back, take a look at the crafting. And see if something new popped up. No. Because I already had this recipe, didn't I? Unless I, unless I missed memory. Okay, let's continue. Because that might be the town up ahead there. I see a windmill. Ooh, that's probably Colrin. Okay, hold on, hold on. There are a lot of wounded people here. So how do we... We don't heal people individually. We just take a healing potion. Yeah, that does heal them a little bit. You can't heal them individually. Hmm. Let's keep going. You guys will wake up soon when time for combat. Is that one boat or two? Oh, it's two! Uh-oh. Wake up. Okay, so there's the fire arrows. Nope, concentrate. Attack one boat at a time. Oh, now it looks like they're using this boat to shield the other boat. So I'll swing the raft around so that really, really wounded guy is now at the back. And there doesn't appear to be anything I can do for the really wounded guy. There's all this loot. <laughs> loot, 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 loot. Uh, eat the fish. All this loot just dancing around here. What the heck? Ooh, is that a shield? Take a look. Um, anchor. Was that a sh Ooh, that's a shield. A wooden kite shield. Let's see if it's better than what my buddy has already. Because I got one melee person and one spear fighter. There's like a bunch of archers. Okay, this looks like the spearman doesn't use a shield. The warlock doesn't use a shield. This guy. 
yeah, looks like looks like the main character, the ones that we're playing. We'll, we'll take a look here again. Go back to the armor. Okay, it is saying that the kite shield is better, so let's equip that. There. Now, does it show visibly on the character? It looks like it does. Yeah, it looks like he is holding a kite shield now. Lift that anchor. And continue the trek. That's got to be the town, eh? Colran! So I'll play this right up until we finish the quest to get the Colrin. Because that should be enough to give viewers an idea of what this game is like. We got a new mission to dock at the settlement. Looks like the village of Colrin. Black screen, there we go. So we dock automatically. Good to know. Jeroguelen. Kreb Doran has told me about your journey. If you want to gain knowledge about the Eternal Crown, you must search ancient ruins. There's one near Colrin, so you should start there. Is there anything else you can tell us about the crown? I'm afraid I can't tell you more than what you can learn from tales and legends. Visit Skrell Desis in his tower near the City of Pale, if he's still alive. Oh, and about your raft. What about it? It's too slow. Your journey will be dangerous. The river infested with bandits and pirates. Dial a CERN will give you a sail. I have paid for it. Indeed. The sail will improve your maneuverability. Have a good journey. Okay, so now we have a sail in the raft. And we have options at the bottom. News. Uh, news doesn't do anything. What about the trader? Okay, so the trader, it looks like we can just buy and sell mundane equipment. I don't know what this was for, because we bought the potion. I think we already had it. Maybe it's limited somehow. There's some flint. There's a greater sword. Okay, well, let's not worry about that. Back up. What was the other option? There's a smith. Smith will sell equipment. Maybe we can sell the crossbow because it wasn't really helping us. Sure, I'll sell that. Enhanced medium armor. That's 300. Oh, wow. Don't have the money for that. Magician who will sell us equipment. Stately robe and some materials. And lastly, oh, recruit. So you can recruit, which is not spelled correctly, where you can buy some more people. Okay. So that's the game of Dreadful River. It's kind of a different take on the survival genre. The graphics are pretty nice. The sound does its job. The gameplay is interesting. It's a bit tricky maneuvering through, maneuvering the raft through the water. In combat, you don't seem to have much control. Like, you can't choose targets. You sort of get to aim a cone and get a general sense where to attack. Maybe that's the way the game is designed. But if you're interested, check out the demo. It's for free on Steam. If you like the full game, that's currently available. Keep in mind, it is early access. And if you enjoyed the video, perhaps leave a like on it, because that will really help out the channel. Speaking of the channel, if you're not subscribed, subscribe already. Take a look at the other videos I have. I've got other videos on other games and survival games. But that's going to be it for this video. Take care, everyone.